Welcome to St. Anthony of Padua Parish, St. Galang, Manila. Our live streaming will begin in a few moments. Please stand by. Like and follow our Facebook page to receive notifications. Like and subscribe to our other social media and messaging accounts. Please don't forget to share this video. Thank you. Welcome to St. Anthony of Padua Parish, St. Galong, Manila. Our live streaming will begin in a few moments. Please stand by. Like and follow our Facebook page to receive notifications. Like and subscribe to our other social media and messaging accounts. Please don't forget to share this video. Thank you. Welcome to St. Anthony of Padua Parish, St. Galon, Manila. Our live streaming will begin in a few moments. Please stand by. Like and follow our Facebook page to receive notifications. Like and subscribe to our other social media and messaging accounts. Please don't forget to share this video. Thank you. Please so kneel for the morning offering. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, 
I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings on this day in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your sacred heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sins, and the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops, the clergy, and all the apostles of prayer, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month of April. Let us pray that the dignity and worth of women be recognized in every culture and for an end to the discrimination they face in various parts of the world. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please see.
Good morning. Today is the first Tuesday, our devotion to St. Anthony of Padua, and we commemorate St. Pedro Calungsod. He gave them the water of wisdom to drink. It will be made strong in them and will not be moved. It will raise them up forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we are around this altar this morning, especially on the Tuesday after the Easter, we are still in the Easter octave, joy of God's resurrection. Let us also commemorate our patron saint, Saint Anthony of Padua today, as we are on the first, Friday, first Tuesday of the month. Let us pray for our families. Let us pray for the people, those who are sick and afflicted. Let us pray for the people, those who are looking for new opportunities, new deliverance, new promotions, that God may bless them by the grace and the power of this Eucharist that we offer. Gathering all our intentions and petitions, let us ask God's mercy and forgiveness to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in a worthy manner. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgives us sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us glory to God in the, the highest. highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless, we bless you. you, we adore, we adore you, we, we glorify you. you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take you away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, of the world. Have, mercy have mercy on us. us. You, take you take away, away the, the sins of the world, world. receive of our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us Paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourself from this corrupt generation. 
Those who accepted this message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of good, the, the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I do not know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him. I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we are around this altar this morning, very especially on the first Tuesday of the month, look, Mary Magdalene, is in the tomb. Kasi naman, alam na di ba lahat, the very first evidence of the resurrection of the Lord is the empty tomb. They have not seen Christ. The very first thing they understood, Jesus has rose again by seeing the empty tomb. Now, Mary Magdalene is staying there. And uh, she saw two angels inside the tomb and they were conversing each other and Jesus also was behind her but she did not understand. Jesus asked her, woman, why are you weeping? Uh, she told her, sir, if you have taken away my Lord, please give it back. Please tell me or I will come and get him off. My dear brothers and sisters, in very, in every circumstances of our life, Jesus never disappeared from us. He's always with us. Even when you commit sin, still God is with you. The only problem, sometimes we do not understand the presence of Jesus. We do not understand this is Christ. 
sometimes we ask him why lord why lord you have forsaken me or why this is my family have to suffer whatever may be that you are going through jesus is always just beside you god can never leave you alone because he loves you one of the beauty of the holy week and also this easter week the beauty of these weeks profoundly talk to us more than you love god god loves you much more than you love god god loves you that's why he died on the cross that's why he rose again on the third day and he lives in the midst of you nobody can take away the presence of god from you that's why sabini you know saint augustine the blessing that you have received in the sacrament of baptism cannot be removed nobody can take it away no addiction no curses no gossip no marites nothing could take away the blessing of god that is set up for you maybe somebody might have told you that uh, you are a bad person somebody might have told you that when they say you are lazy you are not doing anything or when somebody might have misunderstood you eh, somebody do not understand the real story behind everything what we are seeing is only what with our limitation but the real story only one person knows it why he or she acts like this nobody could understand your sincerity or maybe your husband you are behaving like this because the for the sake of your husband or maybe you are doing like this for the sake of uh, someone else who have asked you to do it sometimes people do not understand eh, what that person have really told you you look this was the confusion during the time of jesus jesus always say i am just doing what my father is asking me to do i'm not doing anything else yet they persecuted him because they do not know what the heavenly father asked him to do they were just judging jesus only from what they could see and what they could understand but if they and sisters there are truth and realities more than what you can see and more than what we can understand and jesus is always there in our human understanding sometimes you say jesus is not there but more than your human understanding jesus is always close to your heart as we are here attending this mass on the easter tuesday eh, or tuesday after the easter and also the first week of the the tuesday of the month let us ask the powerful intercession of saint anthony of padua he's always guiding us to jesus and jesus is always telling us i am with you nobody can take away the promises of god that is set upon you no circumstances stay humble my dear brothers and sisters let us be sincere when you stay humble when you do things for the glory of god it is not you who is going to be glorified rather it is god who is going to glorify your life humble ourselves jesus humbled himself on the cross to the obedience to the god let us also humble ourselves humble ourselves in front of our family members humble ourselves in front of our community members humble ourselves in front of our friendship circle when you humble yourself it is god who is going to work in you god bless this beautiful community this morning very specially through the powerful intercession of saint anthony of padua amen please rise the lord has delivered us from agoning of sins may we share in the triumph of his resurrection by repenting our sins 
and turning to God with hope and the trust. Let our response, Risen Lord, we put our hope in you. Lord, Listen. we put our hope in you. Risen Lord, bring to mind the cry of Mary, I have seen the Lord, and grant us faith to believe, we pray. Lord, the risen we put, Lord, we put, put our, our hope in you. in you. May Mary Magdalene, the first to witness Christ's resurrection and a true and authentic evangelizer, be an inspiration to all Christians to reflect more deeply the dignity of women, the new evangelization, and the greatness of the mystery of divine mercy, we pray. Risen, risen Lord, we put, put our, our hope, hope in, in you. you. May the tears of Mary Magdalene at the tomb be a reminder to all that sometimes in our lives, thirst are the lenses we need to see Jesus, we pray. Listen, Lord, Lord, we put, put our, our hope, hope in, in you. you. Lord of life, bring your word of life to those enslaved by fear, those in need of comfort, and those walking in darkness, we pray. Lord, Listen, Lord, Lord, we put, put our, our hope, hope in, in you. you. In your resurrection, heaven is wedded to earth, and all creation is reconciled with God. Watch over humanity and creation still in agony, while waiting for the revelation of the children of God, we pray. Listen, Lord, Lord, we put, put our, our hope, hope in, you. in you. Let's pray in silence for our own personal intention. We pray. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, we, we put, put our, our hope, hope in, you. in you. Father, we give you thanks for the marvelous things you have done in Christ. Grant us to die daily to sin and live with him in the joy of the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, goodness, we have this bread to offer the fruit of the, the human hands are made. It will become our spiritual bread. Blessed be God forever. Pouring out of this wine and water will be the mingling to the divinity, humanity. Lord, hear our prayer and You are our God, you are Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, goodness, we have this wine to offer the fruit of the, the human hands are made. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Cleanse me from all iniquities and allow me to turn up. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through our beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent us our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for a holy people. He stressed out his hands as he envied his passions was to break the bones of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare our glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts be pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he indeed willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is, the, this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which would be shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let's proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks who have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church but throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coheres with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Let's say it in confidence and faith. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, and your apostles, I live in peace, my peace I give you. Look not on sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I, I am, am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. If you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward to reward of eternal happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Saint Anthony, thou blessed Son of heaven, made saint for all your worth, the soul that purifies the grain of Liban, the light that shone on earth. Be thou for us a lamp forever burning, a light that shows the path. Be thou for us a patron guardian angel, a source of life divine. We proclaim you in heaven, we beseech you on earth, that the glory you attain it be our crown, be our gain, and we'll witness the wonder of a new world in Christ. Heaven's sweetness for tasting while on earth we pass by. Saint Anthony, the blessed Son of Heaven, made saint for all your work, the soul that purifies the grain of living. The light that shone on earth Be dark for us A lamp forever burning A light that shows the path Be dark for us A patron guardian angel A source of life divine